Look at it. Isn't it just beautiful? Well, we're not gonna do anything with this today. We're just gonna just gonna kill him off. So Hello everybody. Put your headphones on and turn the lights off, because it's time for more Minecraft. When we left off, we killed the wither. Killed him real good. Made him die. And now now we got a beacon that I'm still trying to fix up. Why don't I just hop down here, you know? Why not? Just go for it. Kill them all. <laughs> go, kill, die. I am such a bad person. Oh my god. Alright. So, we're going to kill off these guys and we're going to go and see the wheat farm that I've been skinning for a little bit for a little while at least for a little while I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how I would say it I've been attempting to make the wheat farm look better that's all you gotta know so let's we're going now that is where we're going now I should say and I still haven't moved the beacon well I have moved the beacon I've moved the beacon to the place where I want it to be and I've been filling in the places that I didn't want it to be and I'm gonna need more gravel is what I've concluded because I don't have any more surprisingly that chest full of gravel that I had or not chest full but that bottom the bottom level of gravel right here it's all gone it's all it's all the splint and stuff so I'm actually just gonna replace that with this and call it good so with this wheat farm this is how I was planning on skinning it this is this is my idea I mean if you like it great if you don't like it I'm probably not gonna listen to you no I'm joking but yeah tell me what you think I like it uh, there's gonna be glowstone here uh, not all of them have been set up entirely yet as you can see I still have to put glowstone in some of these areas this one's done uh, I have to go around and put half slabs on this part stairs are gonna go here and I'm gonna coat the walls with stone brick like that and there's gonna be stairs here and it's gonna be all fun and stuff I don't know I'm trying to figure out uh, I'm trying to see this before I actually do it. So see, like this, this is what I was gonna do. I was gonna have stairs here, and the I don't have any half slabs either. Well, the half slabs are gonna connect across like they do here. This is how it's gonna look all the way around, and that's pretty much how I was planning on doing it. Because if you notice here, the the what is it? the ground I guess would be it is half slab up so I put another half slab here to make it three high except for the middle there the middle there is just it's really just here for show and stuff but it's gonna stay and in the wheat farm I have it as three high as well that's what my plan was for here there's three things that I have to do no three things two things three things I have to do before I can start putting in the redstone mechanics in this and that is to first clear the tunnels where the wheat is gonna fall into so like down here I haven't done that yet but down on this one see it's got a little tunnel going through I gotta do that on both sides and have them meet up somewhere second thing I need to do is finish skinning this because without the skin in place I can't really do anything like I need these half slabs up so that I can walk around on the roof and such and I am getting a call I will see you in a second alright so now my phone is turned off and we won't have that little interruption again. it was Dr. Doom telling me what the texture pack was that we're gonna put on the server version of this world.
gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We're gonna set everything up, and it's gonna be a nice little video. But what I have cooking in these furnaces is stone, and we're just gonna take all of it, and we're gonna make stone brick, and it's gonna be a happy time, right? Happy, happy, happy. All right. So now that we have that, we will make a bunch of stone bricks. Actually, I think this is too much, so I'm going to hold off for a little bit. And make some slabs. And, you know, I'll just do this off camera. I'll finish skinning this. And I won't do the walls. I'll finish skinning the ceiling, and you'll get to see how it looks without the walls and how I'm deciding to place the lighting because I don't want torches on the wall so yeah I'll see you in a second alright so here's how it looks all skinned except for the walls um, I'm taking out the corners because they're kinda dark but either way, they're kind of dark, so I guess it's not like they really matter. Alright, so how we are going to light this. We are going to light this by placing glowstone in holes that I'm going to cut out. But I don't have any glowstone, so we're going to save that for later. We're going to cut out glowstone in these specific spots for sure, and then we're going to get out spacing. I think there is a double. Alright, so this this spot is gonna stay bare, but in the corner, we're gonna keep going all the way around. And yeah, I think we made it around at this point. Yeah. Okay, so how much space is there between these two? One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we can cut it in half, or we can cut it in... So yeah, we can cut it in half. So with this being... Let's see, half of 19, 8, 9, and 9, so it'll be 10. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, so that would work. Alright, so we're going to do that. We're going to cut holes in the middle like this, and that's going to be how we're going to do it. Great, 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 great. Great, 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 great. I have to enunciate that. That's just terrible. <laughs> I need to get better English. Okay, so... I'm gonna do this, all this later, when everything's not all... on camera, I guess. And we're gonna go... and... Hmm, what else can we do? Hmm. I guess we can go cut holes in the ceiling. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we'll do, we'll go do that. Go and cut holes in the ceiling and then I'll tell you about amazing adventures, I guess. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And I'm out of food. Great. So this is going to be the center beacon. So. Oh god. So we're going to need to cut out a five. A five way hole. And what I mean by that is we're going to do when we get up. When we get up to the top here. Come on. Where is it? Oh. 
right in my face. We're gonna do something like this, and it's gonna be a star shape, I guess you'd call it. And this is how we're gonna we're gonna build the uh, the holes in the ceiling. I guess I don't know. Don't hurt me. All right. So I will cut these out because I don't have any amazing adventures to tell you. I was lying. Actually, no, I do. Um, this one time. While I was playing Minecraft on the Xbox 360 version, there was what was it? It was a uh, never mind. I'm I was, I'm sorry. I tried to come up with a story. So see you on the way down. All right, so we are back on our way down, and we are just doing fine more two more there we go so now what I noticed while I was coming down was that these these are still here these need to go I know I had these here originally to get around here but there's nothing back here for me right now so they need to go Should probably also get a light back here that cave noise, man. Alright, so let's just start getting rid of these. They're not all going to be able to come off, but some of them are, so. Like that one. So yeah, this is, this is fun, kind of. I don't have anything interesting to talk about again. <laughs> uh, you know what I could do? I could go to the Nether Fortress because there was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to make, since getting all those Wither Skulls were so hard the last time I tried, the or more like more would be the first time I tried to get the the Wither. Uh, I, I decided that I wanted to make a a wither skeleton farm and I have a nice neat way of doing it and that nether fortress is basically ideal for it so yeah we're just we're, we're gonna go and tear apart that nether fortress pretty much is what I'm saying uh, I want to bring some stone brick with me though so I can come up with a small base Small base? Eh, kinda. A base of sorts, I should say. Or maybe we could work on the nether for- nether- <laughs> What is it? Nether- Hub? Is that what I called it? Nether hub? Yeah. Which I wanted to have... Hanging from the ceiling right there. I think it would look pretty cool, actually. Maybe we'll do that next episode when I have a lot more stone brick. And I'll get some iron bars and we'll chain it up. It'll look nice. So yeah. As we all know, I have a... Nether Fortress over here. And... With it, I can spawn Wither Skeletons. Pretty much endlessly because they spawn everywhere. So... What I was thinking was cutting up the bridges where they spawn, because, you know, all the bridges is pretty much where they can spawn, and filling in the corridors that actually sink into the wall. So, like, I would cut up this bridge or something. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Probably don't want to be here without any food, though. So, I don't want to cut it up just yet. Hmm. So 
So I want to find a good location. I'm thinking over here would be good. Because it's got... I don't have my bow on me. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. Oh god. Oh crap! Crap, crap. Ah, you win this time, you stupid... Did you see that? That zombie pigman just is just like, nope, I'm out. Oh god! So yeah, right above, actually over there would probably be better. Crap! Stop it! Okay. So... I'm gonna go and get a few supplies and get more food and we're gonna start over there. Alright, so here we are on our way back. There's quite a few obstacles in our way though. <laughs> a lot more than quite a few. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm scared right now, guys. Oh god. Killed it. Killed it. Come on. Where is it? Okay. Oh god dang it. <laughs> so I brought a lot of potions with me, but I don't want to use them until I actually need them, like I fall into lava or something. Got him. Oh, thank god that pig man didn't get in the way. Let's kill this guy too. Just because we can. Any head? Nope. Okay. So, we're going to start. We're going to go over to the other side and we're going to start chopping up this, this fortress we got here. And hopefully, we will be able to get this done rather quickly because of the sufficiency pickaxe. But how much does it have left? Oh, that's 290. That's plenty. So first we're gonna start by chopping up this. This does not need to be here anymore. I'm gonna check it. Things anymore? Or things anymore? Yeah. For any more mobs so that we don't end up getting jumped. And we're just gonna chop it up. Not gonna worry about the nether brick or anything for right now. We're gonna make this conform to the strong or to the fortress so that it doesn't look like anything suspicious but when we go inside it's gonna be all stone brick and stuff and it's gonna it's gonna look cool hopefully if I can plan this out right I really shouldn't be doing that digging straight down like I just did I was kinda scared alright so I'm gonna chop some of this stuff up and I will see you when I get back or when I'm done. Alright, so now that we have this chopped up, I'm gonna take a look down. Yeah, we're, we're, we got solid nether brick here. So what's on the side of this? Is it also? Nope, it's bridge-like. So this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna have a single hole in the center a single um, a slot where the skeletons are going to drop down and we're going to have this going maybe I want to have it going as high as it possibly can and I want the base of it to be just above the lava so like lava level but the lava is not going to be exposed or anything like that so it's going to be okay it's going to be okay I want it to be about 20 or so long and that that's how that's how it's gonna work okay so yeah I'm gonna get I'm gonna get cracking on this so just you wait and it's gonna look pretty cool hopefully it's gonna be like one of those massive walls that you see on the nether fortresses like it's not bridge like that 
it's just a wall. <laughs> it's gonna look so stupid, but it's gonna it's gonna look amazing at the same time. <sighs> it's gonna take some time, a lot of time. So I'm gonna cut down this part right here, and we're gonna call it an episode because this this stuff is just too much to be in a single episode. So, I'll see you in a second. Alright, so I've only gotten about halfway down, and already I don't want to do this anymore. So, I want to start making a walkway. Not a walkway. Well, I just don't want to be here. To be honest, I don't I don't want to be here. Just just leave it at that. <laughs> I want to go home and be done with this. So, after I get that extra stack of nether brick, we will go home and probably just end off the episode there because you know, we we've, we've been doing that so often. Might as well. So, yeah, let's just get all this stuff. I came I came really, really prepared. Like, I had three potions of regeneration, which I left in the brewing stand, which I didn't use in the wither fight. And instead, I used a golden apple, which I pretty much wasted because I didn't really need it. And I got three fire resistance potions. So, yeah, this is going to be the last layer I cut off, and we're going to head on home. Alright, so I will see you in a second. I'm going to finish chopping this layer off, and I will see you at home. Alright, guys, so we are home sweet home. All is well with the world, and yeah. So we did a couple things today. We worked, we skinned the farm, and we started on the, on the wither farm. So that, this is going to be fun. So... A few things I'm going to plan on doing before the next episode, though, is finishing the skin on these things and building up with building up. So it would go up three, and then there would be a three block high gap across the entire ceiling, and then I'll start putting in redstone wiring and stuff. And that's. That's pretty much how it's going to happen. And also, I'm probably going to end up cutting the rest of that nether fortress down so that I can start doing stuff with that and all that fun stuff. But first, what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you what I had planning with this. So we're going to head over to my creative world, and I'm going to show you. See you in a second. Alright, so here we are in the creative world. Um, this is what I had planned. So, right now they are retracted. Uh, these are going to be uh, stone brick slabs. So, stone brick slabs. And... Pretend that this is the ceiling, so these these slabs are going to be covered. Hold on. I'm figuring this out. No, it would be this. I was wondering why I was looking weird. So it would be like this. And... That's the ceiling. And... Slabs on top. Alright, and this is how it would go. So... 
flush with the wall, all fine and dandy. It's pretty simple how it happens. It's got a bunch of repeaters on a three tick delay, meaning two setback, and they are in waves of 15. So I'm going to show you what the water physics are going to be on this. So there's going to be water that gets spread all along this. Well, not all along this. This is going to be gone. And this is going to be gone. But you get the point. And then there's going to be water right here that is going to allow the ones that get caught over here to flow to the center. And that's how they're going to get to the center and then get to the canal and all that stuff. And then when I turn this off, they'll all retract and that's how it's going to happen. So, thanks for watching everybody. Remember, everything you know is a lie. And I will see you next time.